hello you guys so i figured we'd uh try again today with our current household um so may stopped by right after caleb proposed to sora and sora told um may about her engagement she kind of enthused about it she asked her to be a sim of honor um and her sister pretended to be happy for sora because uh, she does love her sister, but, like, you could tell she wasn't happy. Like, and then when Caleb tried to announce the engagement and enthuse about it and talk about it with her, she, like, completely ignored him and just kind of brushed him off. Like, he does now have, like, a tad bit of a relationship with May. Like, she wasn't, like, mean to him, but she just kind of ignored him almost like barely chatted with him which was so rude um caleb joined the fishing career he did go fishing and caught us a goldfish for our house which he gave to may so she could name it we're gonna call it goldie goldie locks you know because he wanted sora to have something to take care of and sora showed may around the house she's like he got me all this stuff, like the cross stitch thing, the knitting thing, the easel, and the handiness thing, so I could, like, work on my Plopsy business. And he got me a chess table because I needed that because I was able to get a job as, like, an astronaut. And um, I do have this. Well, he did. I did have a yoga mat. I did. Um apparently my yoga mat got burned um but that is i now have to replace my yoga mat Jeez, louise getting burnt uh where do i wanna i, I kind of wanna i'm probably just gonna put it in the same place and she's like look he made me an area to do my yoga and a fireplace and it's big enough we can entertain his whole huge family because he's got like six siblings I mean, he's a 100 baby challenge kid. Um, so he's got loads of siblings and aunts and uncles. And she's like, we can entertain a bunch of people. And like, he got me a chess table and he got me like a, a planter so I could plant some flowers and like try gardening as a hobby. And he put up this railing around my woodworking painting area. You know, like he... He put some work into the house um and like she was very very excited like i cannot stress to you how excited like she was um i do kind of want to put this here because i feel like it would be unsafe if sims like just like fell um i know that they wouldn't get hurt that wouldn't happen in the sims but i do I almost feel like there should just be some sort of railing there. Like, I don't even care what railing, to be honest. Actually, I do care what railing, because I do want it to, like, somewhat match the aesthetic of the house. Um, I feel like this one wouldn't be bad, but then, like, the... The thingy on the stairs, like, shows through, and I don't like that. Um, where is the... There is one that is, like, this. Does that match? No, that doesn't quite match. Isn't there a plain one? Isn't there one that's just, like, this? <laughs> Yeah, this one here um, is, is is fabulous, um, but I thought it it I can't find the right like the, a color that looks right. I feel like this would work um, to prevent like falls. Anyways, I'll just leave it like that for now. I mean, the stairs are there. Um, nothing I can do about that. Um, so yeah, I I almost feel like this should be like one bigger. Or, or, or this could even just, can this be removed? Like, why is this here? Like, that, that doesn't need to be there. And then maybe I can just take, maybe I can do a half wall? Can I do a half wall? Will it let me do a half wall? 
What is the... Yes, I'll do that wall. That looks better. Um, anyway, so there's that wall there. Um, and she showed her sister, like, the room. Like, Caleb already prepared a room for, like, when they have a toddler that's, like, awesome looking. And it is awesome looking, like... You know, it's red, yellow, and blue, and colorful. Like, what toddler wouldn't love this room? Um, now, you do have to go up this staircase, and she talked about how Sora couldn't wait to, like, cook for her family once they got married and start the next phase of their life. I mean, granted, Caleb did not get any sort of bassinet. Um, no, no offense to Caleb. Actually, I think, I think I'll let Caleb do that. I'll let him, I'll let him get rid of, can I get rid of the mirror? Because, like, we have a mirror in there anyways, so I kind of want to get rid of the mirror and do, like, kids. And get, like, a little, like, kid, I don't know, a kid bed, a, a kid crib. I don't know what they call them these days. Get that, that, that works, that matches the bedroom. So, like, she talks about, like, she couldn't wait to start a family in their home, and she was kind of, like, this is my, you know, laundry room downstairs. I hung my picture up. He made sure I had an office for my Etsy business with, like, a computer. Um, and there's even a little punching bag so he can exercise. Because, you know, I, I've been wanting to... She, she wants to be, like, a nerd brain. But she also likes to stay fit and, like, do yoga and things. And she's like, there's a bike so I can ride around the island. Um, like, she was all excited. She's like, there's plenty of space if I ever want a rocket ship. Um, you know, out in the front, like, we can just move some things around. She was, she was, she was pretty, uh, she was really, uh, bragging Caleb up. She, she was. She was, she was very impressed with everything, like, Caleb did f for her and whatnot. And, um, she definitely felt like he would, like, get her a rocket when they have the money. Because they currently don't have the money and she wants to, like, actually, um... Ooh, let's see how much they cost. Because she actually wants to, like, get one of these and, like, build it and fly it into space. Um, so she just kind of was like, you know, even though, like... We can't, we could we didn't have the money for a rocket yet it, with the new house payment and everything, you know. Can't buy, be buying too much at once. Um, Caleb made sure, like, everything I wanted was in this house. And, like, I'm so happy and, and whatnot. But May was so mad that Caleb was, like, aggravated. Like, he was genuinely angry about how little she wanted to converse with him. I mean, she's like the uh, the sister-in-law from Nightmares, um, as far as Caleb is concerned. Um, so, yeah, that just didn't, like, it didn't go over well with Caleb. And, um, you know, he feels like he, he really did go above and beyond for May, and I think he did, too, um... I think he did too. I think he really was really trying for his, uh, his lady. Um, and like, he, he really, he really wanted to like, spoil her with the new house. And it's, she's like, May was kind of like, well, the house is so expensive. How are you guys going to afford it? You're so young. Um, and May Sore was just kind of like, well, he made a modern kitchen for me. Then there's a bunny statue just like his mother had. Because he really wants to make it a family home. And, like, he even put, like, a little gaming area for the two of us. She's like, there's a TV room with the guitar so we can play music. He really took into consideration that even though she's a nerd brain, she kind of likes doing creative stuff. She does like to have fun. Um, and he, he really, really worked hard to make this what would be a family room. I mean, he made a bathroom that had double sinks, the tub, and a whole, like separate shower room like she was impressed that Caleb bought this place for them and like decorated it for the two of them like there was this little heart-shaped bear and some makeup awaiting her when she arrived like he didn't just make it his style but uh, I think her sister disagreed she's like well Caleb likes fishing but you you're more a modern 
girl, and I don't see you, like, this house really, like, the, the, uh, the, the area with the, um, I'm not sure what this type of furniture, wicker furniture is for you, and she's like, and it's got so many, many island vibes, like, I don't picture this being, being really your place, and that office is very small, and kind of nitpicking, her sister was nis nitpicking, so then Caleb went out with his mom the next day, so I think was kind of upset with her sister's kind of re reaction to like Caleb and I I don't know I feel like she also has a crush on Caleb's sister so she's worried about how the wedding's gonna go um with her high school sweetheart like she still has a crush on Caleb's sister younger sister um I feel like I can't say that loudly enough um but she really wants the wedding to go smooth and she, Caleb's kind of earning money. He's got his part-time fisherman job. She is kind of nervous about how they're going to afford, like, this nice house. Um, but she does love it. And, like, she feels like Caleb really chose a home for them that they would both love. Um, so then Caleb, anyways, he went out with his mother, Juliana. He is close with his mother. Uh, he's... He grew up in a very family-oriented, crazy large family, and uh, Juliana was just, she, he asked Juliana if she would be like the officiant and be the one that married the two of them, and Juliana was honored. Um, she did kind of feel like it's young love, maybe it's too soon, but she didn't tell Caleb that. She just was excited for Caleb, and she loves that he's marrying somebody that is like, close with some of her other children like she's close with Dustin she was close with Leela I don't really know what's happened there because now it shows very little relationship maybe that's like the crush dying off and things are just awkward now um but she's close with like Dustin she's close with Caleb Luca is a relative not of, of the Foxberries like a stepchild or something uh, Lily Foxberry is related to Juliana, um, Alexa is, and so is Samson, and, like, she, she makes an effort to get to know his family, and she was close with Lila, Lily for a bit, um, so I think, I, I think, you know, th there's just some tension because of, of, of May, and uh, May is not happy that they are getting married. So Caleb, you know, he's like, oh, we got to plan the wedding. It's got to be just right. Kind of probably stresses her out. Like, see, she's angry. She's, she's, she feels like she's losing control, has these unfulfilled dreams. Like, y they're just both like a, a, a hot mess since that visit with his, um, with his sister, um, but I am loving it. I am loving it. Uh, so, yeah, and it's going to be Harvest Fest. I think a Harvest Fest wedding will be nice. Um, I actually think I'm going to have the wedding maybe the day before Harvest Fest. We'll call it a Harvest Fest wedding. Um, but I feel like it might be too too chaotic to do it, like, right on Harvest Fest. Um, Caleb is going to make the wedding cake. Uh, he hasn't really picked out a venue yet, but he does, you know, he does feel he can make a nice cake. So he is gonna, he is gonna do that. He's just gonna make a plain white cake. Like, this boy may have some cooking skill, uh, but, well, it's level 8 cooking skill. But he doesn't, I don't know what his gore make. Oh, he can actually make a really fancy cake. Never mind, forget this white cake. You will make that one when you're done. Like, that can be one that your guests can kind of chow on while they wait for, like, the, the nice cake. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I might have him maybe... Maybe he can cook, like, some other stuff. Um, I don't want him to eat this cake. So before I have him cook other stuff, I do need him to add the wedding topper. Um... Because I feel like, I feel like that's important. Um, I'm going to add a wedding topper to this one too. Just so nobody eats it right before the wedding. He is going to cook a few meals. 
Like, they're not hiring a caterer. They just don't have that kind of money. Um, he is gonna... He's gonna make the... Uh, no, he, he's got a good cooking skill. He could make, like, a nice <laughs> baked chocolate mousse. Does that, that sounds good. Like, Caleb's gonna be the caterer here. He's just gonna make what he likes. And, like, it, it's fend for yourself and, like, grab what you like because, woo boy. Um, so he's got, like, the, the, the chocolate mousse made. He is going to cook. What's he going to cook next? This might be with Caleb doing the cooking. This might be all sweets. Um, this, this really might. <laughs> or, like, some fish meals. I definitely think there'd be some fish meals. Um, I, I, I could see that. I could definitely see that, uh, being the case. Because, you know, they'll probably have the wedding in Tartosa. Tartosa just, to me, screams fish. Um, maybe it's because it's got, like, them coastal feels. Um, so she's home. I'll probably cheat her needs just because I want her to have a good wedding. Caleb's over here. He's like, you know, maybe this is all we'll cook. Because our bills are $1,048. Like, we can't afford anything else. Um, he's like, can you pay the bills before we actually, like, rent a place for the wedding? Um, so she is, oh my goodness, the bills are $3,000. They cannot afford them whatsoever. Um, look, there's there's some money for you guys. You know, like, it's, it's beautiful that you have this. This beautiful trash can that gives us money. Um, so no, we're gonna plan the wedding, I think, and then we'll maybe have them try and scrounge up some money somehow. Um, even if their bills are a day late, let's let's go to um I don't know, a wedding event. It's gonna be a night wedding in Tartosa. Woo woo <laughs> Uh we'll do we're not going to do a rehearsal dinner because, like, $1,100. No, ma'am. We're just going to go with the wedding ceremony. The Sim of Honor is May. Um, the officiant is Julie Anna. Uh, do, we don't have a ring bearer or a flower pal, but that is okay. Uh, we have so many Sims we can invite. I'm going to try to get as many foxberries as possible. That is a relative of, like, the foxberries. That is... Because he is a... His dad was a moy moyer. So these are, like, some of his nieces and nephews. Uh, there's Luca. He Luca is related to the, to the family. Um, so, yeah, we've got some moyers. We... we We've got some, we got some, uh, some peoples. Yeah, we've got some peoples. Uh, now we're gonna do, like, the uh, cut the cake, the spousal kiss, exchange vows. Um. Uh, do, 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 do we want a speech? I, I, I think we'll definitely do, like, a first dance and then maybe just, like, a celebration Feast. We're not going to do any walk down the aisle or throw rice or toast. Um, I feel like maybe just a first dance and maybe just some dances in general. We're not going to do drinks because that's going to get expensive. Um, I'm going to edit her outfit. She does need a new outfit for the wedding. Um, I definitely want her to get dolled out. Um, so let's, let's do that real quick. This is like the, uh, the, uh, Foxberry wedding special at this point, huh? <laughs> um, I almost want her to wear, like, a really long black. She needs to shave. She doesn't really need to. I mean, women, everybody's opinion on shaving is different. I like to, you know, shave my arms and legs, but, um, I feel like she could use, like, I feel, I don't know if you'd want your arms hairy on your wedding day, like, it's fine if you don't want to shave kind of thing, um, but yeah, I feel like she'll try to go with this black dress, 
Um, and, and maybe, maybe we'll do it in a white. Um, and we'll do like some white heels because she wants to kind of look traditional. Uh, so her sister doesn't think she's like forgotten her, her roots, I guess. Like she don't want her sister being like, you've forgotten who you are. Like I didn't see no, um, like toast. Um, to the bride, you know, like no tea ceremony. Um, like, what are you doing, girl? Uh, let's, let's take off that bracelet. I think I want this one instead. I'm gonna change her earrings, which, um, maybe to like these red dangly ones because they match her bracelet really nicely. And I'm gonna give her some really nice red lipstick. I kind of like the first one. Gosh, I just don't know if it's like the right color red. I feel like that may be the best red we're gonna get. I mean, there's these, but I kind of, these don't make her lips. I don't know, they, they, they I, I like this one. I feel like for a wedding, this is pretty fancy. I just don't know if it goes with the earrings I just picked out, but like I can change the earrings, so that's not, like, we can go for some small little hoopy things, um, or even something, uh, let's see, they have to be gold earrings, or even something like this. goodness uh, I just don't feel like any of these earrings well I guess we could do like the gold and the the white or like the pearly color or I could do no earrings that's also that's also an option now that I, I think about it a little um I could do the diamond earrings like there's a lot I could uh could be doing I could do no earrings. I feel like she's perfectly fine without earrings. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna, I think Caleb's in an outfit that I think is already fine for a wedding. Um, so we'll, we'll do that and we will, we will let them get married. Um, you know, we'll do the, the, the wedding event as soon as this loads. I feel like these loading screens take forever. It says synchronizing howls. Whose howls are we synchronizing? I feel like that's odd to put on a loading screen. Um, so I feel like the color scheme is gonna be, I wanna do multiple colors. I don't think it'll let me. And I feel like the style is very polished. I don't think they should be white because they would be upstaging the bride. I think maybe red or black. I think everyone else can be in black. Is that like foreshadowing something like bad is about to happen at this this wedding? Um, now that I, I think about this, I'm looking for wedding venues. Um, this is a wedding venue. It says it on there. Any other wedding venues? Uh, this is a museum, 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 museum. Uh, do, 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 do. I thought I had, mm, I thought I had, well, that's an elegant wedding venue. I thought I had, maybe it's in a different save. I thought I had a wedding venue Little Simsy had made. 
we're just gonna do it now. Like, everybody's gonna go there now. Like, we don't have time to wait. This is, this is a big, a big wedding. Um, and I feel like deep down it is gonna be a disaster, which I'll probably film, like, the next part. This is gonna be in two parts. Um, so it'll be, like, current household, the wedding, part one, and then current household, the wedding, part two. So, uh, be ready for that, guys. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Toodaloo! Bye, guys.